Bahia! Hey, good morning. We are here in Castle Valley, Moab. Beautiful day. Behind me is Porcupine Ridge that is just covered in snow. It's making us a little concerned about our adventure for the day. We are planning on doing Periot Mesa, which is right behind me now. And there are some really tight chimneys up there. A little concerned that they might be full of ice. We're gonna do our best to have a grand adventure, but we're not gonna be stupid about it either. So we are gonna head off again, right behind me there, the trail diagonaling up the ridge. And this should really be a class five trip, but there are cables and hand lines. They call this Periot Mesa route a poor man's Via Ferrata. It's gonna be really cool. In the distance, you can see Castleton Tower, and just behind the ridge are several other beautiful towers and buttes. So we'll see you up there. Please like and subscribe. We have quickly surmounted the initial ridge and now we are on flat ground just approaching our objective for Spencer rocking it out. And then the background is pretty sweet with those towers silhouetted against the rising sun. We are traversing across the base of the head wall of Periot Mesa now. And it's a cool scene for sure, if you look at that. But we are heading around to the north side. So a little bit concerned of what we're gonna find. Because you can already see a lot of snow cover. And we are just about to the east, kind of northeast corner of the Mesa here. Looking great. And then I think it's gonna get a lot more interesting. So stick with us. Time to get gnarly. And go big. And around the corner we go. Quite a scene too. Wow. Colorado River in the distance. There you go, nice mantle. Nice and steep now. Cable at 
Spencer and I have safely negotiated the cable section without using the cable. The party in front of us told us it was pretty badly compromised, which it was. It's probably 80% gone. And the next section is there on Spencer's left in this bright orange rope. All right, there's Spencer. We are cranking up this orange rope. Not too bad at all. It is nice having the rope here. I would probably not feel comfortable without it. I can easily climb it at probably five, six, five, five. But uh, the sticks are relatively high. And I just kind of stemmed out to make it a lot easier. That's always a good move when you can. The classic desert move. Holy moly, stoked on a harness. That's for sure, good job. And there's our bros. Awesome. Oh, that's the step across. Wow. Usually there's a fixed rope here. This chimney climbing is very cool. And I mean very cool. Lots of big huecos, good hands. Normally there's a hand line. I don't feel like I need one at all. Moving forward. Also looks really easy, so we're good. We may just repel this though. Just got up to the top of Perry at Mesa and met a couple of the two coolest guys. Sergeant First Class Marcus Deniston. And I'm Sergeant First Class Jonathan Lopez, better known as JLo. We're uh, both members of the very unique and elite parachute team for the Army, Gold, the Golden Knights. And uh, here we are conducting some base jumps out of uh, Moab, Utah. Hell yes, brothers. Let's go check it out. Let's do it. Some really cool adventure action right now. That is epic. We are up here with the Golden Knights, US Army right now, and we are reconning the safest places for them to base jump off, and that entails no ledges below, and ideally even departing from a diving board sticking out over the cliff. Maybe similar to the one in the background. This strap looks good. Next strap, right side looks good. Left side looks good. Helmet is good. You ready? Ready. Why we jump, brother? See you down there. All right, we're set, we're ready when you are. All right, three, two, one, see ya. Nice job, buddy. 
Spencer and I are here at the scene of the crime. And I know it was pretty incredible. LaSalle's in the background, Castleton Tower, Patriot Mesa, and I believe the Nun is the tower on the left of Patriot Mesa. And there is the launch pad where we just observed the US Army Golden Knights doing some pretty sweet base jumps. Well, that was incredible. Really an awesome climb here. I, uh, I would highly recommend it, but I would use a lot of caution. That cable, again, was 80% worn out. Hopefully it gets replaced. If it had been more worn out, I would have considered cutting it and tying it at the next eye bolt just to save somebody's life. I thought, if I thought it was really gonna break. I don't really think it's gonna break anytime soon, but uh, that's a consideration. And this is for climbers. I would definitely say if you want to be a kind of an active rock climber or at least be with an active rock climber and have a rope, if any of the fixed protection was to change, that could really ruin your day, at least stop you from getting up here. All of the hike was just beautiful, I thought. I recommend it and I had a great time. We do still have to descend in the ice, but uh, we're gonna do that right now. We'll see you down there. Castle Valley delivers once again, right along with Moab. Moab does have the circus atmosphere if you're on the strip, but I'm gonna forgive it for that because the surrounds are amazing and it has earned its place as incredible. So hopefully you agree after seeing this video. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon.